I, I've come out to this combi boiler of these men. The pressure keeps dropping to zero. So, I suspect that the pressure relief valve has been opening up. However, on this boiler, it's very difficult to see. That's the pressure relief pipe there, the grey pipe. That's coming from the pressure relief valve and it's joining the condensate trap outlet. So if the pressure relief valve is dripping and causing the pressure to drop down, there's the pressure relief valve there. It's very difficult to see. On other boilers, you have a little copper pipe outside and if it's dripping, then you know it's, it's the pressure relief valve causing the pressure to drop. There's the pipe that it will go down again, but you know, difficult to tell if it's dripping or leaking. However, the reason it would have initially dropped is because the expansion vessel wouldn't have been repressurized. So we're gonna check this expansion vessel now and see what pressure it's on. I suspect it's gonna be on zero. The boiler's currently on zero bar pressure as well. And as, as I suspected, the pressure of the expansion vessel is on zero. There's no drain valve on this boiler, which is a real pain. So the, the, there's a drain valve there on a radiator, or I've decided I can drain the system and create an open end through this filling loop. Whenever you repressurize an expansion vessel, you must have an outlet for any water um, to come out of. Otherwise, you will just get a false reading. You will usually find as you start repressurizing the expansion vessel, it pushes as it fills up with air, it pushes water out of the system, as you'll see. Uh, in this case, it will go into the bucket. So initially, I opened that tap. So I've opened the central heating system basically into that bucket. Not a lot of water comes out straight away. But as we start pumping the vessel, water will leave the system. As you can see, the bucket's actually full of water now. I've nearly let it overflow. So I'm just going to turn that tap off quickly so we can take the filling loop out and empty the bucket. System water's looking clean, which is good. So, bucket's empty. I've actually forgotten to open that tap again. And that is why you can see the pressure's gone up on the boiler. As I've pumped the vessel up, it's, it's pushing, um, it's creating pressure inside the boiler. So I've just opened the tap again, let the pressure out, um, and you can actually see, I, I still need to put more pressure into the expansion vessel. It's really taking some pumping up, to be honest. What happens if the expansion vessel hasn't been repressurized like it had, hadn't had been and it was on zero, when the heating is on, you'll find that often the boiler will, the, the, the pressure will fly up over three bar as the water expands as it gets hotter and the pressure relief valve opens up and that's why you end up with the pressure back to zero. So it flies up to over three bar, the pressure relief valve opens up and you end up with it back to, back to zero. Right. A bit of silicon grease, just checking it's not passing at all before we put its cap back on. 
So the expansion vessel is now pumped up and it held at one bar. You see the pressure on the boiler was still on zero. So we know the expansion vessel is correct. We can reconnect the filling loop. pressure back up to just over one bar now. And now the expansion vessel has been repressurized. When the heating is on full, you, the pressure should never really go over around two bar. If it's starting to go towards three bar, then it's telling you that the expansion vessel will need repressurizing again. So, pressure back to where it should be. I'm just turning the gas off there and I'm going to put the heating on um, just to get the pump pumping the water around the boiler, getting out, getting any air out of the system before it actually fires up. So we just can feel the pump. This is, that's a good way of just making sure the boiler doesn't fire up while there's air still in the system. As you can see, because I had the gas off, um, it's actually gone to an F4 fault. So the gas is back on now. To reset this boiler, it's mode and OK, pressed together. And there, we're, we're back to where we should be. So I've not changed the pressure relief valve. Often the pressure relief valve can still leak even after I've repressurized the expansion vessel. It's, on this boiler it's difficult to tell if it is still dripping. Um, but after a couple of weeks I spoke with a customer and the pressure was holding um, so that the pressure relief valve didn't need replacing on this occasion. Thanks for watching.